Hi guys, it's Jason here from Lowen Roads. Check out what we've got, a 2022 Swift Contiki Sport 596 Sport. This is an incredible motorhome. Now, if you're interested in this motorhome or any of the caravans that you see on the channel, hop on down to lowenroads.co.uk. On there, you'll find all information or pop on down, we're in Stoke or Trent, we'd love to see you. Now back to this, it's a 2022, so it's just turned a year old, Swift Contiki Sport 596. Six berth, six travel seats, it's a great spec. You've got the canopy on the top, solar panel, some garage space at the bottom. On the back, you've got a reverse camera as well as a permanent rear view mirror. It's got a stunning styling on the inside. Let's check it out. So as always, we're gonna start on the front. Now vehicle wise, this is a Fiat Ducato. It's a 2.3 liter engine, 160 brake horsepower. You're on a six speed manual here with cruise control, air conditioning on the front. You've got your privacy blinds, which just slide across from the corners and the same on the side doors. Up the top, that's a reverse camera and you can set that as a permanent rear view mirror. Now you've got your two seats at the front, of course, and then you've got your dinat area, which supply the other four seat belts. You'll see two on each side. Now you can play this a few different ways. You can pack the table away, put it in storage in the back, and have this as a nice open lounge. You slide to make the bed up, you slide the table just on these panels on each side, and that works as the support for the bottom bed. Now it is a six berth. You've got a double bed down at the bottom here. So your, your dinette converts to the middle. This side lounger folds across to here, making one great size bed. And above, you've got a manual drop down bed. To pull it down, easy as pie, hold this button in, and it just slides down like so. And in theory, if you make the bottom bed up and the top, you've got a double bunk bed kind of situation going on. We've got some ladders just in the garage that slide on here so you can climb on up. And same thing, push this down and pop it up like so. You've got a nice bit of storage in these cupboards which are attached directly to the drop down bed. You'll see just down the side here, You've got sort of storage up here, as well as up here, and then a three pin plug for a phone charger or you know whatever you want. Moving through the motorhome now, above the door, we've got the control panel. So we've got swift command just up here. This is where you control, like you'll see your water, your awning lights, the power, the heating, everything like that. And the heating wise, it is of course from the Aldi heating, which is a really good standout feature. So that's central heating more than a, a blower, like a, a true blower heater, something like that. Now in your kitchen, you've got a nice worktop space, some plugs on the top, extendable worktop, a full kitchen, so oven, grill, your three oven cooking tops and electric hot plate, as well as an integrated microwave, now, quite a cool feature is you've got your Dometic dual opening door here, the fridge and freezer. Check it out, you can open it from both sides. Behind me, we've got a storage wardrobe. So you've got your fold out table here, which you can fit in the U shaped lounge at the end. You've got your aerial up on the roof, a hanging rail. That dinette table, which we talked about, has an allocated spot just in here, should you want to make your, your front living room a little bit more open. So that table just there slides in there. You've got this privacy curtain, which you can slide across, separate, separating the front of the motorhome from the back. And then we've got a lovely washroom with a separate shower, which is a great size. And again, 
the toilet. Now, on the back of the motorhome, you've got this great sized U shaped lounge. Double storage lockers on each side here. You can pop a television just on that bracket there. And you've got full 270 degree windows and skylight. So it feels like a nice, big, comfortable open lounge. Now, this does make the final bed. In essence, if you just pick this up in the middle like this, you can slide it across, do it on each side to meet in the centre, and it makes a king size bed. Now, this exact King Contiki which we're looking at right now, it's here and it's for sale. It's done less, it's just done 3,000 miles, it's just turned a year old, it's a great spec, you've got canopy, solar, reverse camera, 160 brake horsepower, 2.3 litre engine. If you are interested, send us a message, it's available at Lowen Road, you've still got manufacturer's warranty on here, external wet locker, everything you need, and of course, it is a Contiki. Thank you for watching.